uh, let's talk a little bit about exercises and case studies on the code of ethics. Article one and the related standards of practice. Article one of the Realtor Code of Ethics outlines the fundamental duty of a real estate professional to protect and promote the interest of the client. This article is crucial as it sets the foundation for ethical conduct in a real estate transaction. Alongside Article 1, there are related standards of practice that provide further guidance on how realtors should fulfill these ethical obligations. So Article 1's duties to the clients and customers. Protect and promote the interest of the client. Be honest and truthful in your real estate communication and present a true picture in their advertising, marketing, and other representations. Ensure that their comments about other real estate professionals are truthful and not intentionally misleading. Present a true, true picture in your advertising, marketing, and your other representations. You should advise your clients to seek the advice of experts regarding matters outside of your expertise. Legal questions, accounting questions, investment questions, things like that. Keep in strict confidence all information concerning the affairs of the client, except where the disclosure is required or the client is consented in writing to disclose it. Not knowingly lie about the property, including its availability, condition, terms, or value. Article 1 emphasizes the fiduciary duty of the realtors to act in the best interest of their client. The related standards of practice provide detailed guidelines on honesty, disclosure, professional conduct, and various real estate transactions. These standards collectively contribute to the ethical foundation of the real estate profession as a whole. Article 1 Case Study Protecting and Promoting the Client's Interest in a Home Purchase So here's the scenario. Jane, a realtor, is representing a first-time home buyer, Michael. Michael is excited about purchasing his dream home, but is unfamiliar with the complexities of the real estate process. Jane is committed to protecting and promoting Michael's interest throughout the transaction. Here's the issue. The issue in this scenario involves the obligation outlined in the Realtor Code of Ethics pledge to protect and promote the interest of their client. Jane must ensure that she acts in Michael's best interest, considering his preferences, his budget, his priorities in the home buying process. The analysis. In representing a buyer like Michael, Jane's duty is to provide guidance expertise, and advocacy through the transaction. She must prioritize Michael's needs and preferences, safeguard his financial interests, and negotiate on his behalf to secure the best possible terms. To address these issues ethically in accordance with the Code of Ethics, what should Jane do? I'll give you a minute. You can hit pause. One, she should conduct a detailed consultation with Michael to understand his preferences, his lifestyle needs, and his priorities in a home. She needs to research and present properties that align with Michael's criteria, ensuring that he has the comprehensive understanding of the market. She must advise Michael on potential issues or concerns related to the properties of interest including market trends, property conditions, and pricing, and much, much more. Negotiate on Michael's behalf, aiming to secure favorable terms in the home purchase agreement. And lastly, provide guidance and support throughout the entire closing process. By consistently prioritizing Michael's interests, and not her own, and advocating on his behalf, Jane would effectively fulfill her ethical obligations as outlined by the Code of Ethics. 
This commitment not only builds trust between Jane and Michael, but also contributes to the positive reputation of the real estate profession as a whole.